Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the demagnetizing and cross magnetizing ampere turns. In that, we find out the complete ampere turns for a particular pole. The formula is Z I A by 2 A P. Z is number of conductors. I A is uh, armature current in a single parallel path. 2 A means number of parallel paths. P is the pole this is a general formula so from that we are finding demagnetizing ampere turns per pole how we are finding generally per pole means per pole having 180 degrees then it has zia by 2 ap ampere turns from that we will get 2 theta 2 theta means we are getting demagnetizing ampere turns per pole from that we are getting demagnetizing ampere turns per pole is z ia by 2 ap into 2 theta by 180 and next how we can find out the cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole so generally we have some relation that relation is like this generally the total ampere turns per pole will be nothing but it is combination of demagnetizing ampere turns per pole plus cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole so from this we will find out the cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole so how we can find out the cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole we can find out total ampere turns per pole minus demagnetizing ampere turns per pole so from the total ampere turns we will removing the demagnetizing ampere turns we will get the cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole so generally you know that total ampere turns per pole is z into ia by 2 ap minus z into ia by 2 ap for 2 theta so from this we will we will find out cross magnetizing ampere turns pole value equal to so if you common z ia by 2 ap is then we will get 1 minus oh sorry 2 theta by 180 don't forget it 2 theta by 180 this is okay so we will find out 1 minus 2 theta by 180 these are the cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole so these are very very important formulas okay that is demagnetizing ampere turns per pole is we will get 2 theta by 180 cross magnetizing ampere turns per pole we will get 1 minus 2 theta by 180 next so again we will discuss some more points related to effect of brush shifting already we discussed those things once again we will recollect all these things that will be understanding how the flux waveform is varied so here first thing first is if the brushes are shifted 90 degrees along the generator rotation generally brushes is like this generator rotation is like this then brushes shifted in this form initially in this form but they are shifted like this whenever if it is north pole if it is south pole then will become all the crosses all the crosses and remaining will be all the dots all the dots like this so these are the dots so what happen whenever cross is there then automatically the complete flux will be in this direction so here also the complete flux will be in this direction the flux will be in this direction flux will be so this is reverse actually uh, yeah so this is flux will be like this flux will be moving like this and this flux will be moves like this this okay always cross means Uh, flux direction like this dot means flux direction like this right so the the complete flux will be desired uh, 
will be generally so we are getting what happened generally flux lines is like this flux lines is like this north to south yeah but some flux lines are will be demagnetized yeah so if the brushes are shifted generator rotation the average value of the flux decreases because it's demagnetization and for the armature reaction so already we discussed these points what happen normal rotation generally this become complete cross magnetization what happen this is a complete cross magnetization will be happen to this for here the brushes are shifted in generator rotation then generator what happen demagnetization is possible that is eg will be decreases then automatically voltage also decreases in the motor torque will be decreases and speed value increases this is the effect of the generator rotation next if the brushes are shifted in the direction of the motor rotation the average value of the flux increases because effect of armature reaction is magnetization you know that what happen whenever like this the generated emf value increases from the voltage value increases in motor the torque value increases the speed value is decreases so this will be shifted in this form and this will be become theta and it will become the same shifting theta okay yeah next if the brushes are shifted 90 degrees in motor rotation in motor rotation means so all the dots will be this side what happen generally here across north is there but north will be down here and this will be the south here so north will be motor rotation means like this and south will be dotted dotted means like this from this north to south is there if the brushes are shifted 90 degrees in motor rotation the total ampere turns also cross magnetizing what happened to this cross magnetizing is done here as simply because uh, because what happen what happen this is the cross means in north pole is south pole formation is there the flux lines are like flux lines will be disturbed in this thing okay yeah this is the effect next so we have some waveforms that waveforms will be useful to understand what happen what happen in the if the brush shifting is done so first first look at the statements and observe the waveform here when the brushes are shifted along quadrature axis not shifted generally along the quadrature axis that means a normal form then the waveform is like this what is this waveform this waveform is like this we can take it as a flux or emf generator we can take it as a flux okay the main field flux is wave of the main field flux okay right when the brushes are shifted in the direction of the rotor rotation rotor rotation means what happen generally quadrature axis means this is the axis so this is the quadrature axis okay so this is the quadrature axis with the motor rotation means generally initially here but this will be shifted this will be shifted like this then the waveform is shifted means it will uh, maximum point will be nearer to the first point so this will be like this so this is the maximum point and the maximum point maximum point maximum point and maximum point then the output will be reaches to maximum point and decreases reaches to maximum point and decreases here also reaches to maximum point and decreases so this is the maximum point will be shifted it will be shifted like this right the shifting is like this yeah this is the main field flux for the second case if the third case third case is 
if the brushes are shifted so generally brushes in quadrature axis these will be shifted in this direction in this direction so theta will be in this direction then the shifting will be like this this is the nearer to this and this point and this point and this point and this point then the main field flux is like this the main field flux will be nearer to this point and it reaches to this here also so straight line it will reach the straight line and reach and becomes like this straight line becomes like this straight line becomes down all right since so the maximum point will be shifted to this shifted this point so the effect is like this the effect means so generated rotation it will be shifted like this so these are the these waveforms also very much useful to understand how the waveform will be change its shape so look at here the waveform initially waveform maximum point is center point generally it is in center point but when the waveform in generator rotation uh, motor rotation motor will be generally this type of rotation then it will become it is shifted like this motor rotation this type of rotation then will be it will be shifted like this so shifting is possible okay so this is about the complete information regarding the demagnetization and the cross magnetization with that uh, effect of the brush shifting and with the effect of the brush shifting what is the effect of the generator rotation and the motor rotation okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you